Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die on Alpha 21. This is the Apocalypse Ranger series. And uh, as you can see, it is actually nighttime still on day three. Uh, but there's some things I wanted to do uh, both on camera but also do tonight um, and not wait till the morning. So I'll, I'm going to start the episode. We'll, we'll do a f those few things, and then we'll cut the camera, and I'll bring you back in the morning. Uh, so first of all, we have red tea and bacon and eggs cooking up in here, which is a beautiful thing. Um, and uh, I, uh, I went out and I gathered some iron. I got gathered some clay. Uh, I gathered a few, tr hit a few uh, trashes and some bird's nests. And in one of the trashes, I found the uh, fuel reserve fuel tank mod. So let's go ahead and read that now, and then we'll know how to make that later. Um, okay, and then I also got chased by a wandering horde. So here's some quick footage from that. So we took those guys out and we now have, um, I think three, right? Yeah, three points available. So let's look at this again. Um, I just want to make sure, like I said, we get the real basic things first before we, we start focusing on the agility tree. So Lucky Looter uh, gives 5% to loot bonus, but it also makes us loot faster. So I think we're going to go ahead and take that. Some people don't think Lucky Looter is worth taking in the early game. Um, and that may be true, but we're taking it for, you know, the 10% faster looting if for no other reason. So we'll do that. Not too worried about uh, treasure hunter or salvage operations at the moment. Let's go into the strength tree. Uh, we did take one point in ma uh, minor 69er. I don't ever take pack meal because we can always learn, uh, you know, eventually uncover all of our slots, you know, through clothing mods and stuff like that. So we're not going to waste a point on that. Um, I don't think there's anything else in strength I want right at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and take Machine Gunner um, so we can start finding books for that. And then, let's see, Pain Tolerance would be a good one for us to take. Iron Gut, yeah, I, you know, I don't think we're going to do Iron Gut because we're at that point now when, you know, what we can make bacon and eggs, we can make red tea. Food and water is no longer going to be an issue for us. And I know it's got other benefits too, but not, not the priority right now. Um, let's skip over agility and look at electronics for a minute. So we took one point in Daring Adventurer. Better Barter is going to get a 5% better deal, which is eh, okay. We took an Advanced Engineering. And Grease Monkey, uh, we're going to get the bicycle, or the option to take the bicycle at the end of... Uh, at, at the end of the Tier 1 quest. However, we don't get a mini bike. So if, if we want a mini bike, which we do, in fact, eventually we're going to want all of this stuff. Uh, we're going to need some points in Grease Monkey. So I think we'll go ahead and take this mostly so that we can then get to Mini Bike Master uh, later on. Okay, so that mostly covers the basic stuff. Once we eventually come across a shotgun, then we'll put a point into Boomstick. And... Um... Just trying to think here. Oh, yeah. And we want to put another point into healing. Uh, I'm sorry, pain tolerance. And once we do that, then we're going to come back to agility. And then we're going to start raising agility itself so that we can start raising the stuff in the agility tree um, that we want to have, which is probably ultimately going to be just about all of this stuff. Okay, so that takes care of our current points. Let's look in here again. Uh, no, we'll keep that in there. Now, um, the first thing we're going to make for crafting stations is we're going to go ahead and make ourselves a forge. So let's go ahead and track that. And we're going to need a log. And um, let's see. Let's, yeah, let's flip these around. Okay, so we can get some bacon and eggs. All right, so we got the log. Uh, we need 10 hide. We need uh, three duct tape and three pipes. So that means we need to make two more duct tapes. And now we should be able to crap the forge. It only takes 19 seconds, huh? Wow, okay. 
So my plan for the forge, if it will fit, is to is to put it in here, if it'll fit. If it doesn't, then uh, we'll have to figure out a plan B. Plan B would probably be, probably be to put it down below. Uh, but let's just see if we can actually fit it in here. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to let us do it. It's probably a height issue more than anything. Okay. Um, so then, yeah, I think I, I'm actually going to, uh, my plan is to actually build this wall up too, by the way, um, before everything is said and done at this particular station. So we could put the forge in here, but we could also put it down here. It doesn't really make a lot of sense to put a forge on a wood floor. So, but the thing is, is it is currently my plan to do the Horde Knight down here. I'm not so sure that I want to put the forge down there either. So I think the place that probably makes the most sense is in here. Um, can we even fit it in here? Yes, we can. All right, so that's where we're going to put the forge. Very good. Let's go ahead and get some wood in there, and we want to get uh, the clay smelting. And I have a bunch of... Oh. Also, we have this land claim block, too, that I want to put down. Um, let me see here. Where do we want to put the land claim block? Suppose we could put the LC block in here. Because it's pretty, it's pretty tough. Now, I can pick, yeah, I can pick this back up later if I need to. All right, so uh, let's go back up and get our iron. Just keep an eye out for any nighttime feral hordies that show up. Um, we'll probably we are going to start melting down brass and all that kind of thing too, but I'm not really too worried about that yet. more wood than that let's put yeah we'll put about 20 minutes worth of burn time in there and we'll see how we do and then the first thing i'm going to make with all this is is iron arrows and then we'll start carrying a stack of iron arrows around with us and we will no longer use stone arrows all right so that takes care of that um the thing we want to do is we want to make a dew collector so let's track this Oh, you know what? That's right. We can't do that until we get the water filter, which we can... Yeah, we can actually afford the water filter. So the water filter is offered as one of the tier one quest rewards at the end of the tier. But so is the bicycle. And I think the bicycle is going to be a lot more important to us, which means we're going to purchase the water filter from the trader. So let's just make sure we have everything else we need for that. So we're going to need um, four duct tapes. Okay, and then we should have, uh, yeah, we have 100 plastic and then some, and we have our four duct tapes. We have plenty of pipes, and then we just need the water filter. So tomorrow, we will go purchase the filter from the trader with this money. I, I wanted to get that bow, but I think it's going to be more important for us to be self-sufficient with our own water. I'm going to grab those out of there, and do we have feathers in here? Yes, we do. So uh, I'm going to have to, you know, gather some more feathers, too, in order for us to start making our, our iron arrows. Now, the other thing I want to do, though, is I'm going to go ahead and make ourselves a pipe machine gun. No, actually, on second thought, I'm not going to do that. And the reason for that is because we're going to get the MP5 tomorrow in the airdrop. Um from a Zulu Tango Foxtrot when he drops that for us. So, yeah, so there's no point in making a pipe rifle, um, or a pipe machine gun, I should say, because we already have the pipe rifle. Okay, so, yeah, I think that's everything I wanted to show you guys on camera. Let's pull that stuff out of there. Look at that, bacon and eggs, baby. I love it. Uh, however, we're going to have to eat 
32. Yeah, we're going to have to eat at least two of those, and then we'll, we'll hang on to the other two for now. I also have canned food in here that I could eat. I kind of want to start saving that, though. Um, and we could even make cornmeal. Well, we won't start doing that until we start accumulating water, which we're not at the point yet where, we, where we're accumulating water. Um, so, yeah, I think we're in pretty good shape here. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and cut the camera here. I'll bring you guys back in the morning. We'll uh, go do this next job from Wrecked, which is just another Bob's Cafe. So I'll probably just speed run that since it'll be our second time doing it. Um, and then we'll go buy the water filter, come back here, make the dew collector, and then figure out what our next move is from there. Uh, so I'll see you guys in the morning. Let's see what we get. Welcome to Trader Joe's. Everything in here has a full no money back guarantee. Okay, so um, we don't. I mean, the water would be nice, but we we're okay on uh, hydration now. The gunpowder, the five hundred gunpowder is nice. Reload rifles ten percent faster. I mean, I think in the long run, this is going to benefit us the most. Okay, let's take the next job from him. I've got work. If Dick Steiner. Okay, that's a new POE. Uh, POI, sorry, rather. But it would be a lie. And then uh, let's sell him a couple things, whatever he'll buy. He doesn't want any of that stuff. Uh, we'll sell him this. You want some clay? You want some lead? Oh, wow, he bought three goldenrod. How interesting. Um... Okay, I think that's all I want to sell to him. Shit, man. I treat you that good, and you don't even fucking tip me. All right, so we got that stuff taken care of. Let's turn this into cobblestone just to free up a spot there. I'll turn these into iron arrows. Wait a second. Yeah. All right, now we're going to purchase his filter whoops be careful there we out go there. all right very nice that's he must have yeah that's right it's day four let's look at his inventory 
He say he reset on day four. Home cooking, pistol Pete, claw hammer. Uh, we still need a cooking grill at some point, but we don't desperately need it, so we'll come across it in loot. Handgun magazine. Really like to find a, a water filter, you know, a helmet water filter. So he still has a yellow wooden bow. That's good. We need a mining helmet at some point or, or a helmet light. He doesn't have well, any. Well, how about you okay. browse your ass right out of my store? Okay, so I think we just go do this next job. We have time. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. we got lots of time, in fact. So let's just keep doing the jobs and see if we can get uh, finished with Tier 1. And then um, that, see, are we hungry at all? Well, let's hang on to this and we'll eat it later. And uh, we'll put that in there and we'll make the, the filter tonight. Because, again, we're not, we're not desperate to get it done. Um, oh, also, I made... I made the padded boots and the padded gloves, too. So now we have a full set of padded armor. Um, oh, you know what we should do? Let's see if he ha has any sewing kits, because uh, then we can make the pocket mods. Or even just... Well, do you have any duct tape? No. Do you have uh, glue? Nope. Sewing kit. He doesn't have any sewing you don't kits. Buy All right. Shit. Next time, I'll shoot you. <laughs> I shoot you. <laughs> that guy. Okay. <coughs> um. Yeah. So let's see. You know what, though? That's actually. Well, I guess it's not really near our place. So. Okay, let's head on over there. Oh, we have another point, too. Um, what are we going to put that in? I'd like to put a point into to Demolitions Expert at some point. We put the point into Machine Gun. I think we were going to do Pain Tolerance. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Make ourselves just a little bit tougher. Dick's Diner. Uh, wait, really? That seems like an awfully big POI for a tier one POI. I guess it is. All right. Check the car here. Um, let's just go around the perimeter really quick and see if there's anything else to loot. Pairs there. A ladder. A little extra iron. Okay. Let's do this. This is a retrieve the supplies quest. Let's test out our new hunting rifle here. <laughs> yeah, attack the stop sign. Whoops. Alright, we'll check the car again. There's some glue. Guess we're going in through here. And the satchel is on this floor. We have a jiggly here. And we got another skill point. Nice. Uh, all right, what are we going to put that in? <laughs> so we got pain tolerance. Uh, we decided we're not going to do iron gut. Um, we put a point into daring adventure and one into grease monkey and one into advanced engineering. So I think. Okay, I think it's time. Um, what, well, what do we need for this? We need. Oh man, we need intellect level four for many bike. Okay, we'll we'll come back to that later. 
uh, I think I want to get back to focusing on agility. So we got everything except for light armor, run and gun, and we can't do whirlwind until we hit level four. What does light armor do for us? Reduce movement penalty and stamina penalty and improve durability. That sounds pretty darn good to me. Run and gun is hip, uh, hip fire accuracy is improved and less penalty when movement. They're both really good. You know what? We're going to take them both. It doesn't matter. Let's just take run and gun and then we'll take the other one next. And then we're going to just max out agility. Oh man, we've got to get a helmet light. It's so damn dark. Okay, let's uh, move this way. Okay, we got business guy. Come here, brah. Sorry about the darkness, guys. I'm starting to um, combine heavy attacks with with um, normal attacks on the knife. Just to, uh, you know, because what I normally, ha what I have been doing is I've just been heavy attacking. But if we start doing a heavy attack and then normal attacks. Ooh, look, not, another cooking pot. We'll take that. We're, there's probably going to be Zeke's in here. They're going to jump out of those things up there. Well, let's, let's grab that. Before we go in there, let's just finish out the rest of here. Um, I think I think we probably do more DPS damage per second uh, over time if we if we do fast attacks after the initial heavy attack. So I've started doing that. Plus it's kind of fun too. Uh, going whoosh, 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 whoosh. <laughs> okay, is this door locked? Uh, no, that one's unlocked too. Okay, well let's go. Let's get this taken care of because you know we're gonna get some resistance in here, and I'm gonna make sure this is loaded. Oh, by the way. Um, we had looted a an, uh, a full auto mod at some point. I don't remember exactly when. And I went ahead and put that on the pistol to bump its damage up more than for the purpose of having an auto mod. Let's eat these pears. And uh, let's eat. No, I don't want to eat eggs anymore because now we can make bacon eggs. So we need to save those for that purpose. Uh, we don't need the nitrate. And that at least keeps us from being encumbered right now. All right, come on, zombies. Really? Zombies? You're kidding me. Wow. I thought for sure zombos were going to jump out of there. Here we go. We can now make pumpkin pie. Look at that. Um. Yeah, you know, we could stand to top off just a little bit on the food. There we go. We got an Edgar and a Tom Collins. Hey, don't ruin that food. He started hitting on that food pile. I'm going, uh-uh, not going to happen. Wow, this is a good place to come and loot food. There's the satchel right down there. Got an ammo pile. And another food thing. We are just getting water like crazy. It's a good thing. Uh, okay. Oh, this is where the fat loots are. Let's jump up in here and... Oh, there we go. Okay, you know what we're going to do? Can we... Do, 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 do. Uh, we can make the... How much does a pocket mod... Requires... Oh, we need leather and stuff too. Okay, we'll have to make those when we get home then. This is where Edgar was hiding out up there. Oh, look at that. More food. Man, there is a lot of food in this place. Okay. And 
no longer uh, taking charred meat. Night Stalker, never encumbered at night. Beautiful. We'll take it. We will take it. All right, is there a way to open this door? I don't see a switch for it. Okay. That door's locked. It's the bathroom. Oh. Toity. And uh, looks like that's all we can loot in here. So the one on the other side is probably a restroom then too, I'm guessing. Any zombos in here? Yep. Are you just going to stay in here, Janitor Jim? So not lootable. Okay, so I think we've cleared the place. And, yeah, we pulled a lot of nice food out of here. All right, let's go back to the trader, turn it in, and get another one. Actually, you know what? Since our, our base is almost as far away as the trader, let's go back to the base, and I'll make those pocket mods, and that'll free up four slots for us. Well, no, only two, because we only have two sewing kits. But, hey, two more slots. Nice, we got a honey. All right, so let's make two of these. Let's go to the pants. We still have yet to find a, a jacket of some sort. And we should probably, until we can make this cigar, might as well put a, a bandana on too. I usually do that at the very beginning. I just forgot to do it this time. I no, just need one. Okay, and then the other pocket mod we're going to have to put in here, I suppose. Okay, well, that freed up uh, a couple more slots for us, so not bad. All right, let's go turn this quest in. Stop staring, asshole. You are more accurate with rapid-firing 9mm weapons. Or 100 9mm. Oh, man. Again, in the long run, having this is, is what we want, so. Uh, all right, next job. You just got to clear zombies if you want at Buzz's Bar. Me, you better not fuck this up, or I'll cut your goddamn throat. Easy there, pal. Okay. Cha-ching! Thanks, buddy. Don't call me buddy after being an asshole to me. I'll stick my K-Bar right down your nozzle. Okay, let's go... Do Buzz's Bar. Um, the thing about Buzz's Bar is that we're going to have bikers there, so we're going to have to just be aware of that, I guess. It is what it is. got to kill them. You know, it would probably behoove us. See, right now we're doing 43.7 damage. If we take this off, we go 45. So... Maybe what we'll do is we'll put this on here for now. And, of course, that reduces the damage of the rifle now, but what it does mean is we can uh, use the rifle to hunt without making a crap ton of noise and calling in a bunch of Zeeks. I'm expecting the airdrop here any moment, too. Working stiff tools... No, but we will take the headlight. So yeah, we're going to have uh, bikers and jigglies in here. And we have our next point. All right, we'll put that one into light armor. That is not a working vending machine. Oh, look at that. There's a duffel bag. Oh, nice. That's an upgraded, uh, upgraded thingamadoodle. Um, 
I don't know if there's other good things to loot back here. Let's just double loot it. I do see a Darlene, so we'll dispatch her. We'll try our rifle here. A little stealth shot. She's dead. All right, let's get ready for a dog. And let's reload this too. We're not going to loot anything on the inside. It's noon. We should be seeing that airdrop any moment now. All right, well, here. Let's get back out. There it is. Yeah. Okay, there's their drop. It's almost just a little bit to the north of west. And I'm going to guesstimate that it's right about here. All right, let's go. Yeah, I decided right before the, the, the plane came, I said, you know what? We better not start this quest because it's going to come and then we're going to have to run, run and go get it. And what we're going to get out of it is going to help us. Uh, in this biker bar. I should, actually, let's not loot anything on the way there. We can lose stuff on the way back. So if you didn't catch yesterday's episode, I mentioned in that episode that uh, Zulu Tango Frox, a Foxtrot is sending us a an MP5 in this drop. So we built that into the story. Also, I, I have not seen anybody's comments. Uh, I released episode one today on July the 3rd um, and I haven't seen comments from any of the other episodes so if any of you did say you didn't want me to take it I haven't seen those comments and when I do then you know we'll we'll figure it out from there I suppose because I did ask you guys um, to let me know if you thought that I shouldn't and uh so if you did comment that and you thought saying that you don't think I should, I haven't seen that comment yet. So I'm going to take it now. And then if I get, you know, multiple of you saying you shouldn't do it, then I'll figure out a way to lose it or something <laughs> in our storyline. How's that? Fair enough. There we go. I mean, even without this, you guys, we would do just fine, but... We're an army ranger that should have an MP5. Okay, so here's how we're going to do this. Oh, good. Here's how we're going to do this. Um, I'll tell you what, too. To make it even more fair, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to take those. I'm not going to take this, but what we are going to do is we're going to go into the creative menu. Whoops. And we are going to, uh, is it called, wait, what? No, stop it. Is it called a sub? Uh, it's called an SMG. That's right. Why isn't it letting me type in here? Now it is. Okay. And we're going to, get a green one because that, that's what I said we would get there we go okay and he did say he was going to uh, give us some ammo too actually in my little role play thing I he said he was going to give us some 7.62s but we actually need 9 millimeters um so I'm, I'm not going to like give myself 10,000 9 millimeters in fact let's just let's just give ourselves uh, one stack of 300 and that's it because you know he he said he was going to send ammo uh, with the weapon as well okay so thank you uh zulu tango foxtrot appreciate that and um now what we're going to do is we're going to put this we're just going to slide everything over here like that and I'm going to remove the 
Remove that from there, and I'm going to remove this from here. I know the SMG doesn't need a full auto mod, but by putting it on there, it'll actually it'll do more damage. So we're going to modify. So right now it does 56.7. Now it does 61.7. Now this is going to bring the damage back down by a couple of points, but the quietness is going to be worth it, I think, for us. And then on our pistol, we just we won't have any mods until we come across some more that we can put on there. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> Whiskey Tango Foxtrot gave us a MP5 with a, a soda can for the silencer. No, actually, that's our silencer. He didn't give that to us. Cool. All right. I love it. Uh, now, let's uh, repair this and swap it out with this one. All right. So we got that upgrade, too. Very nice. Watch there be a dog in here. Nope, oh, just a darling. There we go. That was worth it. As was that. What are we getting close to on our food? One more, and then we can unlock pumpkin cheesecake. Very nice. Good stuff for, for bartering. Okay, so this is a clear quest. And it's going to be, as soon as I put the flashlight down, it's going to be extremely dark for me and almost pitch black for you guys. There's going to be somebody behind this counter. I see a creepy crawly in there. <gasps> Okay, let's check this. There's an egger. I'm going to fight him out here so we can all see a little bit better. Off of this frickin' head. You know what? It, it might entirely be me, but it seems like Edgar's not as tough as he used to be. At least not defensively. Oh shit. Oh, one of those one of those dealies. Um I don't know, what do you guys think in the comments in Alpha 21? He doesn't seem as hard to kill as he used to be. Is there, is this the place that has a, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, a mine, a cooking pot mine in the back? I don't know. All right, let's do this. Let's put that there and let's upgrade it. Can't get a sneaky sneak off on him, so we're just gonna do a standing shot. Alright, uh, I'm back. I had to go help my wife do something real quick. Anyway, um, let's check all this stuff here. I don't see any more zombos in this back room. I know there's 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 gonna be some in the room over there too. Let's take this back down. Unless they like pop out of the ceiling or something. Okay, I guess we're good in here. And I don't see a a cooking pot mine, so that's also a good thing. Come on, grill. Man. Food. Wait. Now, I was going to say, that should have given us pumpkin cheesecake. Yeah, that door's unlocked. 
Okay, let's loot in here. A couple of beers. We got some beer from Buzz's Bar. What do you know? Okay, let's go ahead and check out this room. Sports bag. Another pipe rifle. Look at that. Um, is this one better than this? Nope. The pipe weapons tend to be all the same. Uh, from what I've noticed. Ah, rats. That, that's not lootable. Well, we got our first hunting knife. In loot. It didn't scare me that time. I was expecting it. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay, so let's go back in through here. Yeah, we know there was a... Wait a second. All oh, right, we got to go up on the roof. Okay. How did that not, uh... Wait a second. Did I... F oh, I forgot to start the... Qu <laughs> I forgot to start the quest. Oh, what a noob. Oh, shoot. Well, okay. We got extra loot and extra XP. I I completely forgot to start this, you guys. Oh, boy. Okay, well, now, now we're starting it. <laughs> I was going to say... Because, you know, I the, the back w hadn't reset, and I was, like, co totally confused there. Oh, man, can't take me anywhere. All right, we're ditching that stuff. All right, let's do this again. Lucky goggle. Oh, plus four lucky goggles. Oh, man. Okay, so here's our MO. We wear those when we do POIs. And we wear the nerdy glasses every other time for the added XP bonus. Wow, look at that. All right, get ready for vultures and bikers. Two red dots. Janitor. And a nigger. So there are no bikers in Buzz's Bar anymore. Or maybe there is and we just lucked out. I don't know. Okay, that's it. Medical. Our first sport bites. Check the fat loots. Uh, armor piercing 44s and some lamb rations and an upgraded chest piece. A couple of robotics. Did I? Oh, you know what, you guys? Duck on it. I accidentally repaired that instead of scrapped it, didn't I? We just blew a repair kit. Ah, oh, for Pete's sake. Okay, well, I guess we'll end up selling it now, then. That's not the first time I've done that, and it probably won't be the last. All right, is there anything else up here that we're missing? Oh, yeah, look at that. Well, we got our repair kit back. Oh, they're all inside of there. Okay. I must have ran in there. Oh, shit. Not good.
But we get 2,250 XP for killing her. All right, she did. Okay, what do we got in here? Uh, all that. We're a little bit encumbered, but not seriously encumbered, so I'll meet you guys back at the trader for our turn-in. Hey, asshole. Uh, I guess Helmet light, that's what we're taking. Now, Absolutely going to take it. Pipe bombs would be nice and the other stuff, but we, we finally have our helmet light. Okay. Um, we got another fetch. Up, Richmond residence. Okay, that's new. Well, good luck. By the looks of it, you're gonna need it. <laughs> okay. Um. Um. We we actually want to need to hang on to a headlamp for when we make the mini bike. Oh, we were gonna sell this to him, so let's do that. And we can sell this pipe rifle, but... All right, now that we're done doing business, get out of my store. We need to repair it first. Let's sell the lead. And we won't buy the gas. We need to start hanging on to mechanical parts and things like that, too. Oh, let's put these back on. No, not sell. Put them back on. A sale is a sale, even if it's to a scumbag like you. All right, I think we want to hang on to everything else. And uh, let's go here. Here. What we're going to do is we're going to take the triple off of here. We're going to put the helmet light on here. And we're going to put the triple on the chest piece. We already checked you for fil water filters, right? Let me just double check. I think we... Not those. I, I don't mean those kinds. I mean the kind that you put on your helmet. Okay, nice. So we no longer have to carry a flashlight around with us. We finally have a helmet light mod. And that's going to benefit me and you guys for seeing, which is amazing. All right, guys. This was a great episode. We accomplished a lot. Uh, do we have any points to spend before I let you go? Uh, we have two. Okay, let's put those points into agility straight up because I think we put a point in everything. So far in the agility tree, we'll get that to three and then we'll start pumping archery, gunslinger, deep cuts, and well, all of them really, as we continue to get more points. I'm going to go back to the base and get all, all this crap put away. Uh, we did really good on waters today. Look at this. We have 12 waters, which is a lot. Um, but I'm going to set up the dew collector tonight, uh, so figure out where we're going to put that in the base. And then tomorrow morning is the fifth day, and we'll probably just keep doing jobs for Wrecked uh, until we can get uh, complete Tier 1 to get the bicycle. And after that, we'll... I'm probably going to just stay here and keep working jobs for Wrecked until the Horde Night, uh, since we're going to do the Horde Night at this ranger station. And then once the first Horde Night is finished, then at that point, we'll figure out our next move. But... At some point, you know, I want to I want to start getting out and doing some more ranging because, after all, we are, you know, a ranger. <laughs> all right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.